course, the top story that we are getting you at this hour is from the United States of America, where President-elect Donald Trump has asked Florida Congressman Mike Walz to serve as his national security advisor. And this is as per reported by the U.S. media. Trump continued to name new members for his incoming administration for several key posts, including a border czar who will be in charge of deportations. 50-year-old Waltz is set to join the new administration as it navigates several tense geopolitical challenges, including the wars in Ukraine and West Asia. Waltz, a three-term lawmaker himself, has been a member of the House Armed Services Committee. He has served in civilian roles at the Pentagon and is also a decorated Green Beret combat veteran. And Trump has also nominated hardline immigration official Tom Homan as the country's border czar. While Lee Zeldin, an early political ally, was proposed as the Environmental Protection Agency chief. New York Congress, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik got the nod for the ambassador to the United States. The choices underlined Trump's desire to deliver key campaign messages. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. Donald Trump has reportedly asked Congressman Mike Walls to serve as his national security advisor. Walls, who is a former Green Beret and the first Green Beret to serve Congress, has a strong background in defense as well as foreign policy, making him a very interesting choice for the role. The move signals Donald Trump's focus on reinforcing a tough military-centered approach to national security, aligning with his past emphasis on a strong defense posture as well. Now, Walsh's potential appointment could also indicate Donald Trump's priority on addressing global threats with a hands-on strategic approach, especially when it comes to China and Middle Eastern relations. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One.